Okay, guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can implement AI into your website. Now, the most popular platform for building websites is WordPress. So I'll show you how to do that using WordPress, but the principles are transferable, obviously. All right, so let's get started. Very good. So let's have a look at our first case scenario. So let's say you're creating pages or maybe blog posts on your website and you want to use AI to create the content for you. For this, you could use Bertha.ai. So as you can see, I have it already installed. So from here, you can go either to your post or your pages. So let's create a post together and then from here, add new post. So let's give it a title, maybe test post okay and right here as you can see you can type to choose a blog or you can use bertha.ai so if you click on this as you can see or press space to summon the ai copilot so you can start typing yourself if you want to do, do manually or press the space bar and as you can see of the ai uh, copilot and then we can enter our prompt as you can see right about and then something okay so let's uh, copy and paste this so write about the best practices to grow your own vegetables and then enter and there you go in just a few seconds it will create a complete blog post for you without any effort from your site so this is using chat gpt as the engine so you have to link that beforehand obviously you know so right behind me as you can see of the ai engine if you expand this you can suggest a title or an exhort as well so all of this is run by chat gpt in the back end and obviously this will create content for you effortlessly very good so next let's imagine you want to create new pages for your website but you don't want to spend too much time on the creation process and you'd like to use ai to help you out with that to shave off some of the hard work so how can you do so well if you subscribe to elementor pro you have a built-in feature now with it so let me show you so if you go to pages and then all pages as you can see these are all the pages we have so let's say you wanted to create a new one and add it to your website so add a new page and then from here let's give it a title so test elementor ai okay and then edit with elementor excellent so right here as you can see you have the plus sign to add a new uh, container you can use the templates built in from elementor and also the AI tool. So if you click on this, as you can see, you have a prompt here. You can enter your prompt. So what do you want? So if you type forward slash, you will have a few examples. As you can see, we could have a hero section with image, heading, subheading, and call to action button. So these are very popular ones, obviously. Uh, anyone building a website, any uh, landing page would need a hero section. You also have maybe a carousel here. Uh, you could have maybe pricing table, uh, an about us section, and things like this. So let's go ahead maybe with the hero section. And then let's generate. And the beauty of this is going to give you three different options to choose from. So I think this is very handy, you know, just in case you don't like one, you don't have to restart uh, the prompt each and every time you get three different options to choose from. So there you go. As you can see, you have this one with, with an image on the left hand side and then the heading call to action button and a subheading. This one is a bit uh, with a bigger image and this one with the image at the bottom. So I think the most popular ones would be either this one or this one. So I'm going to go ahead with this one as an example and then we can use the layout. Very good. So right here, as you can see, it's created our hero section in just maybe 10 seconds. So if you were to come to build this yourself, this would take you at least two, three minutes, I would say, you know, whereas here you save all this time already. And now you can fine tune this and tweak it around. Now to tweak this, you can even use AI further. So how does that work? Well, let me show you. So if you were to click on the image here and open this and then select any of those images. So let's go ahead with maybe this one. Okay. And then select. Very good. So as you can see, a very nice picture, man with the suit and all that. Now, if you click on this button, edit with AI, you can even change the content of your images using AI. So let's click on that. Very good. So as you can see, you can expand the image. You can have generative fill, resize, variations, back, uh, remove background or replace background altogether. So just as an example here, I'm going to show you how you can replace the background. OK, so let's click on that. And here I'm going to say replace the background with a few windows. OK, so replace. Very good. And as you can see, now we have a window at the back and a window by the side. So this is just amazing, guys, isn't it? So now if you like it, you can use it or you can edit again and make a few changes. So let's use it. OK, just like this. And now our original picture has been replaced with the new one, as you can see, with the uh, windows in the background. 
Now, if you click on your heading here, again, you can use AI to change your title. So if you click on this, so let's say if you were to replace this with your own, maybe sentence, maybe best men's suit company based in London, best price is guaranteed. So this is basically the generic idea. Now you could simplify the language, make it longer, make it shorter or fix the spelling and grammar. And you can even change the tone and translate to a different language. So as you can see, change the tone here to casual, confidence, uh, formal, friendly, inspirational, and so on and so on. So let's check maybe one of them. So we go for with formal, okay? And here is our revised version. So premium menswear retailer based in London, offering unbeatable prices. So this is the already better, okay? Now let's make this shorter. Very good, so men's fashion store in London with unbeatable prices. There you go, simple, straight to the point, very easy to understand. So let's use that, very good. And then you can do the same with all the others anyways, you know. So every uh, item here, every widget that you use, I can see everything that's related to text or image, you can use AI to modify it and save you a lot of time and streamline your workflow. Very good, so let's have a look at our next example here. So we've covered the blog post, we've covered our pages. So what about creating a form using AI? So let's have a look here. So for this, we're gonna use Jet Form Builder from the CrocoBlock suite, okay? So if you click on this, as you can see, you can add a new one, create it yourself. You can import a form or generate with AI. So let's click on this together. As you can see, this is the beta version at the moment, so limited to 10 requests per month. So here we need to describe in the form exactly what we want. So make it as simple as possible, uh, straight to the point, clear and succinct. So for instance, a form for men's suit fashion store with three departments, formal wear suits, casual and sports. So let's see what is going to come up with. Okay, so let's click generate. Very good. So based on our prompt, there was nothing specific asked. And as you can see, we have the name, email address and the department. So formal wear, casual wear or accessories. And now the visitors can submit and we will receive that. Okay. And now we have the option to either use that form or recreate a new one. So I'm going to change this again a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit more details this time. Very good. So I've added this to the prompt. So we need these specific fields on the form, name, phone number, height, waist size and chest size okay because this is related to uh, clothing obviously you know so on generate and there you go as you can see now with name phone number height waist size chest size and also which department so as you can see this is super handy and now we can use this on our website and we've created that form in just a few seconds very good so one last one here is one that combines both the writing capabilities and also seo purposes both combined into one single plugin and this one is called get genie as you can see here okay so let's go to the blog post now and let's create a new one together. And right here on top, as you can see, we have an extra button now, right for me. So let's click on this. And right there, as you can see, you have all these different options. So what are we writing? Is it a blog post, WooCommerce wizard, genie mode, meta description, and so on and so on. Okay, so let's go with block wizard. And then you have to answer the keyword, select the language. And here is the key SEO mode, as you can see, global or specific for Australia, Canada, India, New Zealand, South Africa, USA, United Kingdom, and so on and so on. So as you can see, you can have your SEO optimized for specific regions in the world, which is super convenient when you think of it, you know. So let's put this to the test, okay? So I'm going to enter a keyword here and then the context. So let's say, let's go ahead again with the same idea of how to uh, grow your own vegetables at home in your own garden, okay? So there you go, perhaps something like this. So grow vegetables, your garden at home, and the context here, write a blog post on how to grow your own vegetables in your own garden at home. And then you can also generate the title here. So let's start with this. So we have two different titles here. So let's select one of them. So let's agree with this one, okay? And then for the SEO mode, we're gonna go maybe for, let's say United States, okay? And then we can analyze our keywords. Very good, so grow your own garden. As you can see, you have the CPC and the amount of searches per month. As you can see, 920 on, on this, 9.8 on this one. So we might use this one instead, you know? So control C and then let's add this one there, okay? So we have all our uh, trending keywords now. Very good, and now we can move to the next step. So here, this, this is a title, so I reused it from before and then we can create an intro as well. Very good. So as you can see, this is done for us automatically, you know, so select one of them. Let's go ahead with this one as an example and then create uh, the outline now. Very good. So maybe I'll select the first one, this one, this, that and that and uh, select all from this. Okay. So next. Okay. And then one click blog. 
and it's going to create everything for us. So now, as you can see, this is a paid version, you know, I, did, I don't have uh, the subscription here. It's just to show you how it works. So generally speaking, you have all these different options. Now, if you had a subscription plan, obviously it would create all of this for you. So there you go, guys. This is how you can implement AI directly in your website. So again, we've used WordPress here, but this would work with any type of platform, obviously. So again, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.